Hello everybody, I'm going to try and play uh, Knights in White Satin and give you a lesson for it. So we'll see how uh, see how you can do. Starts off in E minor, goes to a D, um, and that sounds that sounds like this. I'm going to play it and then I'm going to explain something. So E minor. Okay, so what I'm doing there is when I'm playing the E minor, I take my middle finger off and I hammer on the fifth string, okay? Just take it off and put it right back down where you got it. Now there are times, and you're going to figure it out as you're playing it, that you might want to perhaps do the same thing with your index finger on the f um, fourth string, so that would sound like this. And it just gives some nice effect. So anyway, when you when you go from the E minor to the D, what I'm doing there is I'm taking my pinky and I'm and I'm hammering it on the first string on the third fret. So you're in the D. So again, you're just in your regular D position, okay? And then you're just hammering on that first string on the third fret. So you can see that. And then back to your E minor. So it sounds like this. Lights in white satin We're gonna go to a C. Letters I written, that's a G. F never meaning to sin. That's an E minor. Beauty I'd always miss. That's your D with your hammer on. With these eyes before. C just what the truth G is. F I can't. Say any more, E minor. So that's my little hammer on in my. That's you're just in your E minor. It's real simple. And that's something that I do. I don't know if everybody does it, but it sounds good to me. Then we're gonna go to an A. Cause I love you. And what I'm doing there is I'm in my A. I'm barring my A. Okay, it's not real hard. Just bar those three notes of your A, take your ring finger, and I want you to place it on the third fret on the second string. That gives that sound, okay? That's the third finger, this one, second string, third fret. Cause I love you. Yes, I love you, see. That's a C chord. Now I'm going to take my pinky and I'm going to put it on the second string on the third fret. Okay, so you're just doing the same thing that you were doing on the A, except on the A you're using your ring finger. Now I'm going to go to the C chord, the regular C chord, take your pinky, put it on the second string on the third fret. Okay, so now I'm going to do that part again. Because I love you. Yes, I love you. Oh, I love you. Okay, so I went from the A to the C, pinky to the E minor, and then do your hammer, and then to a D, and when you're on that D, take your pinky and do the you're hitting your first string on the third fret and, and pulling it off. Cause I love you. Yes, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh. And then you go ahead and you sing the second verse the same way, 
and um, just listen to it and feel it. Feel the music. Feel the song. You know, if you want to do the hammer here, where you want to do it, that's fine. Do it. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. You can just play it straight through. Okay, so now it gets to the chorus part where there is the, well, it's actually not the chorus part, it's the instrumental part where the flute solo is, and I'll go over those chords with you. It's E minor, D, C, B7, E minor, D, C, B7, then it goes to an E minor, C, E minor, C, A minor, B7, A minor, B7, E minor, D, E minor, D, E minor, and then it's then we'll start into the um, the Knights in White Satin again, which is a repeat of the first verse. Okay, so I'm going to do the whistle for you. i got to do this quick because we're going to run out of time. So start on your E minor. And remember, you can get all of this stuff, the Knights in White Satin, Moody Blues. You can go to Cordy.com, click on Moody Blues, go to the artist part, click on Moody Blues, which is going to be under B for blues. Um, usually, might be under Moody somewhere. But, um, and then click on Knights in White Satin. Okay, so here goes the uh, whistle solo. Nice and white satin. Anyway, so then you just repeat the first verse that you, you the, that you sang, and um, and then the song ends. And um, probably the best way to do this is uh, go to the Moody Blues, pull it up on the YouTube, um, listen to a version that you like. There's a couple of different acoustic versions that are uh, Justin Hayward and uh, John Hedge, and they're. Uh, just playing with a, an acoustic guitar and a bass and uh, having a lot of fun with it. Listen to it, get the song in your head and have fun with it. Um, I'll just kind of go over one more thing with you and that's when you're going to the D and it's just a timing issue so it's the pinky on that first string third fret. Nights in white satin And it's just kind of an aggressive strum there. You just kind of, and you'll figure it out. Um, listen to it, and when the timing is right, you'll know it. And um, just have a lot of fun with it. So anyway, good luck. If you have any questions, um, put them on the comments. Um, maybe subscribe to my channel, and uh, watch some other great finger picking lessons in the style of John Prine. Um, anyway, it's just a lot of fun. So thanks for watching.